everybody. Welcome to Adirond UK Live. Um, you're with Bradley and you're with Jane this evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. We've got a <laughs> I thought you were talking to me then. Yep. You're most welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad Bradley joined us. <laughs> yeah, he's got all the tech going for me. We have it yeah. all going tonight. Absolutely. We've got an interesting evening tonight, Bradley, isn't it? Something a little bit different. We've also got a uniform. I don't know if anyone's noticed. Yes, we're kind of in tune tonight. Yeah, <laughs> there was a memo. We both got it. So tonight, we're really excited to introduce you to the high-tech collection from Helen Billy Stimulate. Yeah. Now, this is exciting because it's heat-resistant. So you can style it. It acts just like human hair yep. to an extent. It's all about the creativity styling personalization which makes it really really a great one to have i feel because you can just do so much with it can't you yeah it's incredible i think it's for those people who fancy human hair mm. but they don't want that high maintenance of it you know when you wash it blow dry it letting it dry and it takes quite a long time to dry because it's quite porous but you still want that ability to style it or maybe you're going out at the weekend, you've got a party to go to, you're yeah. going out for dinner with a friend, and you just want that little bit of a different look. Mm. And with this fibre, the high heat fibre from these wigs, you're able to actually put style into the wig. Right. So you can straighten it, you can curl it, you can do whatever you want. So you can just ring those little changes just as if it was your own hair. And that's good in this heat, right? Because who wants to be manning a hair dryer or using heat yeah. tools like every morning? And also, I mean, Bradley talking about the heat, because it's really humid at the moment, if you're wearing a human hair wig or even with our own bio hair, with all the humidity going on, your hair is going to go fluffy, it's going to go frizzy, and that's going to happen to a wig as well, if it's a human hair wig. Great thing, again, with fibre and with a high heat fibre, you put the style in it, it's not going to change. So nice. it's got that memory, it's going to stay as it should which is great. It's not going to go fluffy. It's not going to react to all of the different elements out there. And you're going to have that perfectly styled hair. Amazing. And even better, and this is what is a really good thing with it, I think, cuts down on your time. If you put a style in there and you really quite like it, maybe you put some curls into it, you straightened it, whatever style you put into this wig, it's going to actually stay there for at least two to three washes. Hallelujah. Yeah, so you can <laughs> go wash it twice. It's still going to remember that style. Get to your third wash and you're probably going to have to style it again. Okay. But talk about that cuts down on so much maintenance. And Amazing. Time. So, come on then. Who is Ellen Billy? Because I've heard a few rumours about Ellen Billy. It's a person, right? She is a person. Oh, it's a, it's a she, she person. She's a she person. She's a she person. Yeah, um, Ellen Bill is her name okay she's the actual founder of the company right um it's a company it's a german company it's been around for a long long time in the wig industry for many years probably 50 60 years um so really kind of highly regarded okay in the industry as well and she's in <clears throat> an incredible woman okay i've heard she, some things i've heard she's very very glamorous she's incredibly, she likes her champagne she does yeah yeah, champagne for breakfast every day, lunch and dinner. Living her best life. Yeah, um, she's great. She's very, very trendy, beautiful glasses, beautifully starred the whole time, very, okay. very chic. Because the brochures, I mean, has, we've got one right here. Still has an awful lot to do with the actual styling of everything. Well, they're very cool. They're very stylish mm. brochures. I don't know how well you can see that, but the photo shoots are always really cool. And the clothes, everything is really well thought out, isn't it? And I think the styles as well. Absolutely. They're really key pieces, aren't yeah. they? So you can see from these ones behind us here, you kind of got every sort of style you would need to have as a base to then customise or... Change. Yeah, yeah do things with styling yourself. Absolutely, style. yeah. You've got like the really long and straight, but if you want to put curls into it, you can. You've then got a very soft, natural wave, really, which would suit any kind of age group. Um, any demographic that you're looking at. But again, you could smooth that out as well if mm -hmm. you wanted to. Then you've got these really short ones, which are great, but if you wanted to put more of kind of a quiff in it, more of a curl, make it a bit more funky, you're going to be able to do that with them as well. Yeah. So there's so many different things you can do. And you've got all that opportunity to do it. 
Well, let's have a look, shall great. we? What, what are we going to do with this first piece? So this first one is one of the medium length ones that we're working on. As you can see, it just comes naturally from the box with that just very natural kind of beach wave to it's it. Quite tasteful, which isn't it? is, I think, is actually quite a nice look to the actual wig. I'll just lift the stand up so you can see the actual length of that, which is quite nice. Um, what I'm going to do though is just going to heat style it and do one side much curlier so we can see what it's like and put my head up straight it's got a bit <laughs> lopsided then and do one side a lot straighter if you're actually going to do any heat styling with a piece it's really important Bradley that you use the right products right so does that come down to also the, the tool that you use does it need to have a heat temperature gauge still or it does it does okay. absolutely so we've got our own straightening irons the add around straightening irons you can get these on our <laughs> website yeah yeah, you can look at them on the website. The great thing is, and if I bring that a little bit closer, it's got a temperature gauge on it. And the temperature gauge allows you to use it on synthetic hair, mm -hmm. high heat fibres, and human hair as well. Okay. So just by adjusting that actual temperature. So if a, a piece is in high heat or heat resistant fibre, what sort of temperature would you go for? I would actually look at 140 degrees. Okay. Still quite hot, though. It's quite it? hot. I would always test it on the underneath section okay. of the actual wig. Because that to be safe. Because I can actually say to you 140, but what I'm using, the tool I'm using, might be slightly different to what yeah, you're true. using at home. And they will vary ever so slightly. Even if we say 140 degrees on one and that on another, mm -hmm. it, it might, might be. Vary. So always, just to be safe, just do a little test on the underneath section. And what have just you just sprayed? Just to make sure that you're not going to damage the fibre. And before you put any heat on it as well, we've just sprayed it with the moisture protection. It smells really good. That's why I was asking. <laughs> Straight in A new perfume. What's that smell? So that's the moisture protection that we actually use. It's part of a range of shampoos and conditioners that has been formulated to be used with high heat fibres. Okay. So fibres that you can actually put heat on. And it's really important, you don't want to overload the piece with product, but you just need to give it a light spritz of it mm -hmm. to protect that hair. Okay. And if you're wearing one of these wigs, every morning just give it a light spritz of the moisture protection. And again, at the end of the day, and it's gonna help just to lock in that moisture and keep that wig looking really, really nice for you. So we've done, obviously, webinars prior to this one, and we did one on cyber and bee hair, and that was very, very um, well responding when it was moisture, wasn't it? Yes. You used your guinea pig analogy, <laughs> which we love. Yeah, and, uh, so is this very much the same? So it does kind of like moisture if it works with heat. Is that kind of a general rule? It's very much the same. Um, Differences with cyber hair and V hair, they actually, or V hair responds to moisture in the air. So it will actually take on the actual curl. If it's got a natural curl to the actual fibre, it will take that on. Okay. Whereas with heat resistant fibres like this one, what will actually happen is you can straighten the hair, you can actually curl the actual hair. It's got a memory in built into it so it remember what style it's going to do when you actually come through to actually washing it again. It's so really clever. When I wash this again, it would actually just stay straight. So we've just shown you how easy it is just to take that curl out. And as you can see, it's already really started to change. It's style. changing completely from what it was. So it's kind of like you're moulding it if it's going to keep that shape. It's going it? to keep that shape for me all the way through. Um, I'm only going to do one side Bradley straight because okay. the other side I want to show that you can put more curl into it if you actually wanted mm. to. You know you're going to a party and you just take small sections and just slide your straighteners through. It's very easy to do. If 
you've got straighteners at home and I know so many people have <clears throat> in their houses they've got GHDs it's a really popular make of straightening iron or that we use don't use them because they are too hot they right. don't have a temperature gauge on sadly and I'm really surprised that for a company of their size that they've never made them with a temperature gauge and we've actually as a company when we started using heat resistant fibers we looked at every kind of styling tool that you can actually use or what is quite possible to use and we found out quite quickly that you've got to work in much lower temperatures right really well we've had a question come in here jane and that is what is the style that we are looking at right now the style that we're actually looking at right now is the mambo the mambo the mambo number five and <laughs> i know that we've got one just to one side, Bradley's just going to grab it. It's the longer one, the blonde one there. And if Bradley can actually just show us the inside and tell you what the foundation's like. The foundations, because we've got five styles in total, and they're really, really great. So we've got the Bolero, the Boogie. The mambo, the rumba, and the tango. There's a theme so there. So there's a little bit of a theme. <laughs> What's yeah. that, Jane? Is it all dance routines? I think it's all different dances. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you a little demonstration later. <laughs> oh, will we now? <laughs> of a little dance. So all different themes on dances. And with this particular one, all the foundations are slightly different as well. And as you can see, we've got a monofilament crown area it's very it's, well done isn't it it's very intricate that. yeah all completely machine wefted the top area is well if we can go around to the mm -hmm. top is machine wefted but it's actually machine wefted onto a stretch net so it gives you an awful lot more security and also it hides any of the actual wefting as well and then what's going on right at the tip here and then right at that very front edge we've got a lovely little piece of lace Wow. It's just an insert of lace just where the hair parts. So if we go back to so the one on the head. Work on this piece. And if I just take her off, you can actually see that it looks very oh, natural. Wow, okay. So that, it looks almost if like I br not much bring that up to the it, camera. It's only a little bit, and you think, what difference will that make? Yeah, but it does. But it makes that incredible difference. If you want to take your hair away, just lift it up at that area where you're actually styling it so it's not too much on your face. Then it does make that tiny little bit of lace makes all that difference. It actually makes it sit much more flush with your yeah. skin as well. And it's an invisible it's lace, so I'm just going to take that hair away and up and away so you can actually see so so many wigs come and they've got to have a fringe you've got to have your hair all styled forward but you might want to take it away from your face because you might want to actually you know run your fingers through it and with that tiny little bit of lace there even though it's probably about two inches wide so there's not a lot of lace it makes all that difference to when difference. you're actually doing that styling so just to lift that hair away and you can encourage that just by using heat on it to get yeah jane we've actually had a question about the heat styling and it's does the hair ever naturally go back to how it was originally and is the friction for it the same as usual synthetic hair with these pieces yeah um it's a synthetic wig at the end of the day. You are going to get friction frizz on it. It's exactly the same, especially on these longer lengths as well, where it's rubbing on your skin, rubbing on clothes, you will get friction. But because, again, because it's a high heat fiber, once you begin to actually get that friction on that underneath, on those longer layers, if you were to actually wash your wig and then very gently Put the moisture protection on the wig when it's damp mm -hmm. and then with your straightening irons run your straightening irons through it you're going to remove that friction frizz 
Okay, and I think probably that's something maybe we will cover in a few weeks' time. At yeah, some stage absolutely. Probably. It'd be good to see that. Um, different tips of how you can actually just revamp your wig, I think, because yeah. it's questions we get asked quite a lot. And there are different tricks that you can actually do quite easily, really. So we can see but how straight that's gone here, and it looks completely different. Yeah, so you can go really straight. I mean, I've lifted it away just where we've got that lace just so you can see, you can take it up and away from your face and it still looks completely natural. Once you've finished doing all your styling, you can then put different products onto mm -hmm. it as well, just to enhance the style that you want. I won't put any product finishing products on it yet till we've actually finished styling it, but I'm going to do both sides completely different anyway. Brilliant. Well, you. before we move on to do that, should we have a look at the other two styles we want to look at before Absolutely. we then have another play around. Yep. So just for everyone's reference tonight, any styles that you see behind me that I'm kind of in the way, way of or amongst, <laughs> um, you can get 15% off these yep. until Friday with the code EW15 on our website. So that is EW15. <laughs> and uh, yeah, go check them out. So it's the Ellen Ellenville High Tech Collection. They're they're really lightweight as well. I think that's one of the things you're going to notice about wearing one of these or when you actually first see one, how lightweight they actually yeah. are. They weigh very, very little, and that's going to be a real advantage to people yeah. as well. They're beautiful, yeah. and with them being new as well, this introductory offer, I wouldn't pass it up. It's definitely a great opportunity to get a look in. Absolutely. Um, so what, what's this piece, Jane? This Do one's the Bolero. Lovely. Yeah, although last week I was calling it Bolero, but it's the Bolero. <laughs> you made it sound like a champagne or something. Get the bolly. Yeah. Okay. So it's the Bolero. Again, you've got that, as you can see on this one, Bradley's got exactly the same one in his hand. You've got that chin length bob. You can make it straight. You can make it quite funky. You can leave those curls in it. The colour of this one, I think, is beautiful. It really is, and it's very natural looking it's when you see really it up close. It's really natural. There's some dark strands going through it which i don't know if you'll be able to see on the camera yeah it's called uh, um, maybe not but it's called snow snow mix and it is really really beautiful because you've got the very very light shade through that front area mm -hmm. and just going much darker through the back so you've got that lovely soft graduation of color but i think when we look at the style of it as well that would work quite well straight but i think it's just nice having that very soft movement going through it. And how are the caps in relation to these? So they kind of made for your comfort. What's... They are really made thinking of comfort yeah, and they're style not just for you. Quite um, generic, are they? They're very, very good pieces of. They're all slightly different. Again. Yeah. Again, all completely machine wefted. So machine wefted all through the back. We've got our nape adjusters, so you can take it in to make it tighter, bring it out to make it looser as well. You've got a lot of give in them as well. They do so feel quite stretchy. If you've got a lot of your own bio hair still underneath, you can actually got a lot of stretch. If you are without any hair at all, then it's going to be very comfortable for you to actually wear. Again, machine wefted through the top, but onto the actual stretch net material, keeping it really soft because when you feel that, it feels really, really soft mm. as well if it was on your skin. But this particular one is different again to the previous because we've got a lace parting, but we've also got that extended lace at the front that comes right down to the temples. So that enables you to take your hair away from the side, take it right back behind the ears as well, and keep it looking really natural. So a little bit more lace on that one, but I think making the wig look completely natural for you. And that's the Valero. You know, I bet Which, if this was to be straightened out, it would look like a completely different style. It would wouldn't look it? complete. And I think that's a great thing. You buy one wig, yeah. but you've got so many options to change those styles. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like, more, you know, it's like two wigs in one or three wigs in one, really. Yeah. Um, your imagination, how skillful you are to how you want to change it. You can go to the hairdressers, get it changed. If you go into a wig boutique or into one of our own salons and purchase one of these wigs, but you want it styled differently, 
the stylist is going to be able to style it for you. Mm. So it's going to have that kind of hairdressing experience as well, really. Yeah, that's the which joy. Which I it, think so it? many people do miss, isn't it? Yeah. And that would be what is a fantastic thing to actually go through just to have that experience. And then you could pop in weekly or fortnightly just to actually have that change. Mm. If you don't want to do it yourself, you're a little bit nervous, come in, make an appointment with one of our staff and they'll be able to look after you. Yeah. So it's just like visiting the hairdressers. Well, that's again. the joy of it, isn't it? It's the, having the creativity yeah. back. Which is why tonight we thought we'd show you them in action rather than just holding them up. Just holding them up. Because that's what not you, what they're about, is it? Show you what real? you can actually do with them. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got another question here, Jane. It's what's the wig to the right? Is it the Nolan wig? Is it to my right? Is it On the this right of the screen? Yeah. So if it's if it's to Bradley's Which right, it would be this this <laughs> way, wouldn't it? Right. I'd imagine. Well, this particular one is called the boogie. Which is actually which is the one that you've got in your I'm hand now as here. well. So we've got the boogie on this one, which is in one of the actual new colours, because there's a couple of new colours that they've actually brought out with this collection. There's 14 colours in total and some really grey colours. This is the rosewood rooted on this one. And you can actually see, and I think the camera's picking up quite well. I think so. That you've got these little kind of almost strands of... It is like a rosewood colour. It's a really pinky, rosy colour. And it's almost as if somebody's got bleached highlights and then they've gone and put a colour over the top. It's kind of like that and rose it, gold colour yeah. trend that was very popular. I think it's, I mean, I, I love this colour. Yeah. I actually think it's really quite nice. It's really lovely. And you've just got these little tips going through the end of it. So that's great. And Bradley's got it in a different colour in his hand. Again, they do it so well. If we just turn that one around, you'll be able to see it on the head. It just cuts into that nape so beautifully. So you get a really lovely shape for the actual wig. It's back, which is really nice. <laughs> and really again, nice. you can actually change that style as you want to because of the little pieces of lace in the front of them mm -hmm. as well. So is that so I a very similar cap again, this one, isn't it? It's a similar cap with this one again, all machine wefted as before. The only difference is, is when we get to the front and we've got that lace parting, but it's just that lace parting that we've got this time. Yeah. So it kind of extends ever so slightly across, but it's not extending all the way down yeah. as the actual um, Mambo did. But again, because you've got that lace, it's going to look really, really natural to take that hair up away from your actual face. And I think that's what it's all about, is trying to be as natural as possible with the wigs. Yeah. Make them look as natural as possible all the time. Yeah. So the wig that was in question is the long blonde one. So I assume it's the one you're actually working on. The long blonde one that I'm working on is... The mambo. <laughs> the label. Yeah, is there? It no, is. it's not There's that one. Rumba. No, That's it's different. This, so this is the mambo. This is the mambo, mambo. that we're yeah. actually working on. And again, it's in that champagne rooted colour, which is one of those really, really popular colours in yeah. the Ellenville collection. So we've had some more messages come through. Um, the tango is my absolute fave. It feels so, so soft, just like human hair. We were actually talking about how these feel just before we went live, weren't we? And um, they do feel very, very natural, don't they? They do. Yeah. And I mean, I, I haven't seen one in action with like the wind blowing, but I can imagine that it moves just like human hair yeah. as well, because just you kind of swishing them around. I think because they're so light in weight, I think this is the thing. They're very, very lightweight, so they go into actually work very much like our own human hair does. Yeah. Um, if anything, better than our own bio hair, because you're not going to have all those problems with it going all fluffy and out of control. Mm. Um, I mean, this weather for my hair, Bradley, is absolutely awful, <laughs> because it just gets bigger and bigger all the time because of the actual heat. Isn't it strange? Mine is the complete opposite. And you just go flat. It just gets stuck to my face, basically. Yeah, yeah so, you know... Again, huge advantage for people, isn't it? Yeah. When 
they're wearing a wig, they can get it styled beforehand. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take slightly smaller sections on this particular one, on this side, because I just want to make it slightly more curly for us. So again, I sprayed the heat protection on it. And we're just going to curl the hair and just put a little bit more of a stronger curl into this fibre. So just while you do that, Jane, I'll just reintroduce us mm. for the evening. So myself, Bradley and Jane here from Adderance UK Live. Tonight we're talking about the Ellen Billy Stimulate High Tech Collection. So hopefully if you've joined us, you can just join us, you can catch up actually afterwards you on these styles. But we're going to go through all of these today very quickly yep. with you and just show you just what you can do with this range because it's very creative. Yeah, five so new styles. Five new styles and we're getting hands on and with the yeah, mumbo. It's lovely. Range. Five new styles, a high heat or a heat resistant fibre, which makes it really flexible. You can actually style it, you can do whatever you actually want to the fibre without causing any damage. And I think for those people who have been wearing say a synthetic wig for years, but you get a bit frustrated because you want to change your style, but you're very limited to what you can actually do. Then to actually have one of these is a really great option. Yeah. And they're not overly expensive either. I mean, no, if, they're not. I don't if think... you're looking price-wise, you're looking probably £200 up to about £300. Um, For something that behaves like human hair, you're saving... A huge amount of money there aren't you by going with a high heat absolutely fiber yeah you're not going to get any color fading no um obviously with human hair it does oxidize and it fades in color over a period of time with high heat fiber it's that's that lovely isn't it yeah and it feels completely undamaged as well doesn't it yeah it does if you actually put your fingers through it remains it. very like feels well conditioned very soft feel uh, and i think that's a crucial thing really because um, if we were to put, you know, heat onto a normal synthetic wig, yeah. well, for one, my straighteners would have actually just stuck to the synthetic wig. <laughs> it's, you know, it wouldn't have actually done anything at all for me. So it's really, really good that we have... It's that technology, I think, now, Bradley, isn't it? The technology in wigs... Everything that is being made and different things that are coming forward, it's changing constantly. Mm -hmm. And that makes such a big difference to, you know, what you can actually do with them. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot of people out there will be thinking now, let's just try one of these and see what I can do. Yeah. Because you, are, it is frustrating, I think, for ladies when they want to change their style, they want to look a little bit different when they're going out with their girlfriends, but they're kind of stuck to the same kind of look. Um, so by doing this, you're going to be able to actually look different, and nobody's ever going to know you're wearing a wig. But I was like... just going to say to you, it makes it far less obvious if you're wearing a wig, if it looks slightly different Absolutely. each time, you know, because not many people's hair ever goes perfectly. Never. Every day, you know, there's always something about it that feels slightly differently. Yeah. So obviously this is curling up really well. So I'm just gonna, whilst you're doing that, let's talk through the last two styles. Brilliant. Collection. So we have got here the tango. The tango is not the shortest one in the collection, but the next shortest one along. Um, again, it's more like an A-line bob, I think. Mm. So you've got that really short kind of A-line bob coming straight across that jawline. You've got that nice layer to it as well, which can give you an awful lot of lift, an awful lot of body. Again, you've got a lot of option for actually curling and changing that hair as well, if you wanted to. Um, the cat it's one of my favourite ones, this particular one. It's this style here, isn't it? It is that yeah. style there, yeah. Cap-wise, again, we've got that beautiful lace front to it. Mm -hmm. But it's that extended lace again, Bradley. Yeah. So we can take it behind the ears if we actually wanted to. Because you've got that extension of lace, which is really, really good. It helps a lot with it being just around 
the whole front there because you really I think when things like the wind blows I guess you'd feel more comfortable yeah. Just knowing that it blends in more with your hair and moves. Yeah, because you know, if your hair was to blow off your face, all you're going to actually see is like a natural hairline. Yeah. A very, very natural hairline is what you will actually see. So it's much nicer, much I think easier. That combined with another really beautiful root that just makes this look so natural, doesn't the it? The roots are lovely They're on really them. Lovely um colours. I think they do them really particularly well. It's always quite a very natural root that you actually get. And with some of their new colours, what they've actually um, given, and in the longest one that we're going to look at in a moment, is what we actually call a tipped colour. So in some of the colours, if you look at the descriptions and if it says tipped, it actually refers to the colour being slightly lighter on the ends. So uh -huh. as with our own bio hair, mm -hmm. and as you can see with Bradlett, it's you're slightly lighter on the ends than you are at the root colour, because yeah. your root colour is obviously slightly darker as it comes through. The ends have oxidised slightly, so they're slightly lighter. And again, with Ellen Veal and with these high-tech wigs, they've actually introduced some tipped colours to it. It's very well thought well. out, isn't it? I think they do everything they can within these pieces to make the hairpiece or wigs so, look as natural as possible, so don't they? So, looking at that one, if you turn it the other way around so we can look at the colour first. So, this is the rumba. It's the rumba and it's in a chocolate tint. And if you hold it up and kind of wiggle it around for me, you're going to actually be able to see that colour, that it is slightly lighter through those ends. Definitely. It's not a huge difference. Yeah. You're you talking see. a couple of shades really but it just looks as if it's been caught by the sun and is lightened ever so slightly this is so soft straight it feels like european hair yes it's so sort of the, fine and silky the fibers are really really fine in texture and i think that's where you're getting all that flexibility you get yeah. all that movement with them as well yeah it's amazing and you can just see that lovely it's about 26 centimeters in length that and that one. is the style that i am oh, sitting and, right in front of and that's the longest the one here in the collection which is lovely again you could um really go to town on that one you could do it curly all over if you yeah. wanted to you know spend the time with it great thing being a wig though you could take it into your hairdressers leave it there Go shopping, put another one on and go shopping what's just been styled for you. <laughs> Come back and you've got all your styling done. So the cap on this one is, again, very interesting. Because you've got these two sections going on here. Do you want to talk us through those, We've Jane? got two different sections of lace on this one. So we've got the crown area, which if anybody's looking down on top of your head, is going to look very, very natural, where we've got the actual little bit of lace for the crown and then at the front you can actually see a very small triangle of lace and again that little bit of triangle of lace is actually put there for when we actually want to part it so it's on that really particular parting area again Bradley so you can actually take your hair and actually lift it away from your face and it just looks completely natural for you. I don't know how you do this so well every week, James. <laughs> Very difficult to bend my hands that way. But you can see how you well can. that blends it's in. It's really good. And that, I think it just makes all the difference to have these different kind of... Um, it's only a small little bit of lace. And you wouldn't think a little bit, you know, it's going to make that much difference to the wig. No. But it, it makes all that difference to the wig when you're actually styling it and what you're trying to actually do to it as well. So it's great, really. So there's five styles, five new styles. Five new selection. styles, They're yep. kind of like your basics, aren't they? Your absolute staple styles that you could then build upon with styling or I think so. customization. I think they're kind of all you'd ever really need. Yeah. Um, especially I, if you are, you know, you have your own salon. Well, I think you've got your own, you've got like the really long length. Yeah. You've got your shoulder length, you mm -hmm. know, just below shoulders. So you've got that lovely kind of length of hair. You've got the really short ones, 
which are great so you can have quite a funky style yeah and then with obviously the mambo with the bob shaped one which is curly or you can do it straight again you can actually ring the changes with that one quite happily as well brilliant um and it just makes all that difference, I think. Yeah, I agree. It's just nice to be able to do a little bit of something with the wigs and change them as you actually want to. Yeah. Um, and if you head over to our website, www.trendco.co.uk, between now and Friday, if you use the code EW15, so that's EW and then the number one and the number five, or EW15, <laughs> That which, doesn't uh, sound right at all. <laughs> um, you can get 15% discount as an introductory offer on these pieces. So they're very new. And um, I, I would say to anybody, they're very um, exciting. if you really fancy thinking that you've got hair again, wanting to play around with heat and styling and doing different things with them, just go and get one. Yeah. Because they are just beautiful and great fun to actually work with. Right, well, Jane, now you've curled that, and we can see there's a big section that you've curled. I think the last thing we kind of have to show everybody is, A, the curls, <laughs> and B, is spraying it down with water to see it kind of retain. What we actually say in the box, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. is, yeah, because I think sometimes, you know, people can say to you, oh, yeah, you can put a curl into it, you can straighten it, and it's going to stay exactly like that when you wash it. And it's quite hard to believe sometimes. Yeah, you want to see it. You need to actually see that done, don't you? Yeah. Really? So... So you can see the real difference when you see it from the front here, Jane, if you just turn that... So we've got... Turn that around. Okay, so we've done really straight. Mm -hmm. Let's just get rid of that bit. And then we've just been gradually... I haven't done that section yet, been adding some curls into that. Obviously, you've got to take a little bit of time to actually get all that curl into the actual piece that you want. But once you've got your curl into it, and if we look at this curl here, if you take your water, and I'm just going to take a water spray now, just to actually spray that curl down. So, sorry, Bradley. <laughs> Quite refreshing. Just cool it's you right. off. <laughs> cool me off. And you can actually see that that curl actually stays so what if you would anything, do that feels like that's really you, you would help it with adding some moisture you, you would actually wash it just comb it through and just encourage that curl back yeah and also on human hair that would drop out wouldn't it it would drop out you'd wash it and then you'd have to start again yeah um obviously on the straight side you'd expect that to go curly again that again just stays exactly as we actually put it before amazing so you can there actually you change it but even if you have straightened it and you think oh i want a few curls back into it i will show you a little area that you can actually get the curl back because sometimes you think if you straighten that fiber too much are you going to be able to curl it again mm -hmm. but yeah you are going to be able to just Take a little bit of that moisture out. And just put a little bit of the curl back in so you can see that you can go straight. Then you can go back to curly as well if you actually wanted to. It's giving you that option, isn't it, really, to be able to do different things with the fibre just as if it was your own hair, mm. which... There you go, straight back. So there we go, straight back to your curls again, if you actually wanted some curl put back into it. Amazing. And again, and Bradley would be able to feel that, it feels exactly the same. Really, really. Oh, <laughs> it's this soft. stool, really, really <laughs> soft and yeah. silky still. So it's just beautiful. It just works really, really nicely. So you can do so many different options with it, Brilliant. which is, um, I think, a huge advantage. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, wigs have come an awful long way, and to be able to actually heat style something 
to get exactly what you want, you know, for that change of look, you go on out for the weekend, or you just want a different look. Mm. Uh, you know, we all get a little bit fed up sometimes with how we're Absolutely. looking, and you want to actually kind of, you know, perk yourself up a little bit. And with these wigs, you're going to be able to do that every time, which is really, really great. That's a real, real plus point for these. Well, Jane, just before we kind of wrap this up tonight, we've got a question that's come in, and that is a very valid one. How long would you get out of these pieces compared to your standard synthetic? Compared to, you would probably get exactly the same lifespan from a standard synthetic wig. They're not going to last you any less or any longer. Um, I think it really is down to each individual person. Mm -hmm. How often you're wearing the wig. If you're only wearing it a couple of times a week, it's going to last a lot longer. If you're somebody who's wearing your wig seven days a week, you know, 12 hours a day, and you're looking at this kind of length, or you're looking at the very long one that we actually do, they're going to actually wear out a lot quicker because of that friction frizz. But because you've got that ability to actually straighten this hair and then recurl it, you can, at the beginning when it starts to get the friction frizz on it, you can actually remove that and actually put the shape and the curl back into it right. as well. So you're probably going to get, I would say, equally as long, if not a little bit longer from these. But it really does depend on your aftercare mm -hmm. and how you look after them. Um, because the fibre is really, really fine on these, I would say you need to be washing them about twice a week as well. Okay. Normally, we recommend washing a normal synthetic wig once every seven to ten days that's if you're wearing it daily with these if you're wearing them daily i would say wash it every two to three days twice a week really it keep that fiber really really soft and as you know that style is going to actually stay in it for you as well so you only need to be heat styling it every say third wash if that's what you want to do so you're going to get a lot of wear i think out of any of these styles. Amazing. So Which loads of advantages to these. And I think so. Really exciting actually to have yeah. these. It's been nice to play around with them. I know that you've been oh, playing been... around with them behind the scenes for the last few days. I have yet to see so what we can do. See, see what we can do. See how much we can do with them yeah. really because that's the crucial thing. It is. And you know, We like to do that to begin with to make sure we know what heat you can use yeah. on it and you're not going to be causing any damage at home. Exactly. Um, and make sure you use the right products. The products that we've kind of thought are the best ones to use with it, you need to be putting some moisture back into it. And we do a range of products, which are the um, cyber hair and V hair products that we do. So and we do a shampoo well. and a conditioner. Yeah, they're available and you can buy them in a kit form as you well, can. can't you? you can. So if you don't have those, you can buy them in a little kit like this. And you get a brush in there as well. And, and a wig cap, cap as well, don't you? So it's quite a handy little bag it's to really actually good. put them in. Yeah. Which I think is absolutely great. Amazing. And those, I think they um, retail at about £40 for the kit. And that shampoo and conditioner is going to last you quite a long time. But also it's got that magic spray in it for moisture protection yeah. that you need. So that's the crucial one that you are going to need for these wigs. Exactly. Which is great. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight, everybody. Obviously, as we've said, head over to the website, www.trenco.co.uk. Um, take a look at the Anandili High Tech collection. Yes. And anything that takes your fancy, if you use the code EW15, which is EW15, <laughs> then uh, you get 15% discount off your purchase between Brilliant. now and Friday. So go check them out. Uh, there's loads more information on the website. Pictures of them styled before and after. So you've yeah, got a which is great because we've got that in the catalogue, yes, isn't we it? Have. Um, so you can actually using, see what they all look like curly and using straight. Using the same much. models, which is great, and they just kind of, you know, show one as is out of the box and then one with it actually styled, which I think is a great little bit of marketing yeah, for it them, is. isn't it, really? But it's good for you to be able um, to see. And that's the boogie, which you can really see changes it completely yeah. the short and straight and then with that little bit of kind of curl to it so great things that you can be doing Amazing. right well let's close the show down jane yeah and actually if you get them take some pictures of what you're yes. doing with the styling because we'd love to see what we'd you're actually creating at home as well yeah. which would be great wouldn't it yeah always send stuff in we'd love to in. see 
what people have done, yeah. what they've learned from these sessions. So please do Definitely. let us know. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks' time now, won't we? We are. We've got a break next week. Isn't we it? have. Jane's off on a little holly bobs. Yep, I've got a little week off. You have, which is lovely. Yep. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then. But until then, check out the Ellen Billy Isaac. Yeah, do. Collection. Have a look at them. They're fabulous. See you okay, soon. see you soon. <laughs> see you in two weeks. Yes. Two weeks' time. See you then. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.